You may be wondering, why all the microphones? Am I going to suddenly announce my candidacy? <laughs> no. I re did a recording session uh, on Sunday, and we used this mic, but I'm kind of suspecting that there might be something a little off with this microphone, so I thought I'd give it a test. And then I thought, well, why not just make a video out of it? I'm going to put this microphone up against four other microphones that I own, and let's listen to all of them from one single recording and see if we notice any differences among the microphones. So for this particular test, I'm not going to use any uh, preamp or compressor. Uh, it's just going to go straight into the computer. And the other criteria is I will play and tweak the volume levels so that they're similar close to each other because I don't want that to be a huge factor in deciding which microphone does what better than another. They're definitely not all the same sensitivity and they're definitely not at the same output volume uh, into a mixer, for example. All right, so let's get going and uh, let me set, finish setting this up and see what we can do. So let's introduce the contestants. We have a dynamic mic from Audio Technica. It's called their 2500D. Okay, so it's dynamic. It is unidirectional or cardioid mic. So it doesn't need phantom power but it also doesn't have as sensitive of a strong output. And that's this is the one I'm suspecting is a little bit weird. Uh, what I mean by weird is uh, the frequencies don't seem to be very even to me. Okay, this mic here, I happen to have a spare. This is the Octava MK012-01, uh, and they're made in Russia. This is a condenser mic, and it's often used for things that go ping, like a piano, cymbals, a guitar. In the center, we have my favorite microphone and most expensive that I happen to own. Uh, this is the Neumann TLM-103. It is a large diaphragm condenser mic, uh, so it needs power. It's very sensitive, very high output, and it's my favorite. I use it for vocals, for saxophone, uh, flute, uh, acoustic guitar, almost almost everything. Next in line we have the Shure SM58, another dynamic microphone, so no phantom power required, and a little bit lower signal when recording. This is my favorite mic to use when recording my guitar amplifier. It's just the right amount of input and an overall good re frequency response. Uh, the, the SM58 is also great for live performance with vocals, because it resists a feedback a little bit, uh, but it still has a, a good frequency band. And microphone number five, this was my first condenser microphone because it's reasonably priced. At the time I bought it, I think it was around $300, and I'm not sure if you can get it at that price anymore, but it's an AKG C1000S, okay? Uh, this one has a battery for the Phantom Power, but I found out that if you just have phantom power in the line, you know, from your mixer, then the battery is not necessary. Okay, let's listen to the SM58 first. Okay, so now let's listen to the one that I was most concerned about, the uh, Audio-Technica 2500. Yeah. 
Yeah, it seems like there's a little more brightness going on. I, I hear. Next up, let's do the Octava. This is the smallest diaphragm of the condenser microphones. Okay, and now it's time for the next condenser microphone, the AKG C1000S. I don't know, to me, that one just has a little bit more narrow frequency range. I didn't hear much of the deepness on that one. Hopefully saving the best for last, the Neumann TLM-103. Of the five, this one captures the nuances a little, the best of the five. But you know what? Just hearing the sound of what I re recorded, I kind of like the Octava even more than this one right now. So let's see, my two favorites were the Neumann and the Octava. Okay, so just for fun, here's my two favorites at the same time in mono. I think that sounds pretty great. So my conclusion is good news. I was concerned about the AKG 2500 being on its way out, but I'm going to keep it in the in the box of uh, microphones. I think it's a useful mic. Please share in the comments below what was your favorite microphone and why, and I'll see you next time.